Today is Friday, 1st of March, and we're fishing West Waven Beach. Hi guys, out fishing West Wedding Beach today. Um, high tide's in about an hour and a half's time. Just fishing the one rod, using a one up, one down rig. Tiny little size four hooks, just um, some mackerel strips. Just trying to stop this blank I'm on. Um, not really expecting fish to be honest, because it's the smallest tide you can get. It's 4.4 meters. Normally here in Wedding, we round about the 5.8 or so. Uh, in the summer and on the big tides we get like 6.8 tides so yeah really small tides at the moment um, I thought I'd just try something new as well I've just taken a thermometer from home and just to read the air temperature which is 8.9 degrees 9 degrees or so and also some water temperature which is also reading 9.2 degrees, so that's quite interesting. I know people's magic number for fishing and the sea water is about 10 degrees, so it might be useful to someone. I'm going to keep this in my fishing tub, so I know the water is not exactly very accurate because it's a lot deeper out in the sea and stuff like that, but at least it's something to go by for now. For those of you who don't know West Wedding Beach, we've got our local promenade just here, so it's quite well lit up in the dark over like from the flats as well so you don't really need your head torch on although it doesn't really show up too much on my uh, phone just due to the sensor on the phone but this is my setup for night fishing as well bought a tripod for a pound from the local car boot and I think this light there's a 20 watt LED and I just managed to mount it on my tripod Lights up pretty well, to be honest. I'll take my head torch off. Like I said, my camera doesn't do much justice. It's just my phone, so the night sensor on it's not very good. Um, Beach-wise, they're very shallow, uh, narrow beaches. They're only about 50, 50 yards wide or so, side to side. So you've got to watch the groins when you're casting. You can quite easily fish two rods, but three or so, it'll get a bit difficult. Okay, no bites as yet. Um, we're due to get some strong winds uh, tomorrow evening and Sunday evening. So hopefully it will stir up all this beach and get rid of the swell we've been getting down shore anyway. Still a bit of a swell just down here. But it's calmed down a bit. But I'm just hoping a, a big old stir up will just bring the fishing on a bit. I've seen a few lights right on the distance of when we here flashing away. And a bit further east down to score in is another little head torch. I'm not too sure what ground I'm fishing on here. Um, normally there's sand and rock pools around about here, but I just didn't get a chance to have a look down there today or dig any lugworm, so I'm just using good old frozen mackerel. Got some squid with me, but this rod's been out now for about 25 minutes, so I'm gonna take it in and have a look. So I had nothing on that last cast. Bottom bait looked like it had been chewed up a bit. It's wasn't the same as when I put it out there anyway, put it that way. Um, just wondering what everyone's targets are for this year. Me personally, I want to try and catch a nice ray. I haven't had a nice ray before. Um, had a tiny little one years ago, but that's literally palm size. You can really get much smaller for a ray. But yeah, I'd love to catch a decent sized one this year. Um, anything else? I would like to catch more lure caught bass. So I'll hopefully get some early mornings in and late evenings and get down some low tide spots as well. Apart from that, I'm not really too fast what I catch. I'm just happy to get out and fish. So yeah, let me know below in the comments uh, what you plan to catch this year. Okay, still no more bites. So I'm gonna wind that in in a second. I thought I'd just show you parking wise. 
how close you can park. My car is literally just there. All three parking along here as well. So yeah, during the day it gets a bit busy, but at night, no cars around really at all. You can, loads of free spaces. Um, I've fished here a few times in the past. I've had some flounders and dogfish. Nothing I filmed on video though. But it'd just be nice to catch fish today. I don't really want to have another blank, but if it happens, it happens. At least I'm blanking for everyone else, I guess. And it's only going to be, you know, another couple of weeks and then hopefully the fish will start turning up again. So bait wise, top hook, a bit munched up, still there. Bottom hook, still exactly the same really, still a bit munched up, but yeah, I'm going to freshen these up and get them out again. Okay, just another temperature update. You can tell I'm getting bored. Nine degrees. Still no more bites. It's just gone high tide as well, so um, yeah, I'm going to take the rod in and freshen up the boat and I think have one last cast and just try not to blank again but it's not looking very good Right guys, it's now half an hour after my last cast so I'm going to make the decision to call, call it a night I'm going to take it in so let's assess the damage see if the baits are still intact So this is the damage nothing at all, still there Top one looks a tiny bit shredded up, but nope, no bites. Was that blank number four or blank number five? I can't remember. No weed, so that's a good sign. But hey, hey, that's fishing. I don't mind blanking, you know. Obviously, I like to catch fish, but I still like to get out and fish. It doesn't bother me too much. It might help someone else out as well. They plan to fish around this sort of area. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this video, please subscribe. Um, give it a thumbs up. I'm trying to get some brownie points together so I might be able to get out Sunday morning in between the winds if I can. But if not, I'll try and get out next weekend. See you next time. Thanks for watching.